everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Easter is coming up so soon. It's almost March and when I post this, it will be March. So I thought, what else should I do except make a dress or an outfit for Easter um, because it's just such a cute holiday. I love it so much. All the colors, the pastels, everything about Easter is just lovely. And I thought it'd be fun to make an inspired outfit for the occasion. And this video is sponsored by Cricut. So thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video. I will get more into that in a few minutes, but basically we are going to be using Cricut to make a corset today. I have this whole vision in my head and I cannot wait to show it to you. I've designed it and everything, but Cricut sells smart cutting tools that make it easy to create whatever you want. Anything you want to make, I'm sure they can help you do it. So thank you to sponsoring this video and we're gonna get started. My Easter theme this year is kind of like cottage core vibes and when I was thinking about what I wanted to make for an Easter dress, I thought it'd be so cute to use like a really flowy pastel-y dress and then have like a corset stays over it because I love that style. I've been really into it lately and I thought it'd be so fun to kind of play around with designing my own iron-on to use. So I pulled out my old iPad. I never use my iPad, but I had to chart it up and I made this really cute design on Procreate. I don't know if you guys ever watched the Disney Silly Symphonies short. Um, it's called like Funny Little Bunnies or something like that. But when my sister and I were growing up, that was our favorite Silly Symphonies short. If you haven't watched it, go look it up right now. It is so cute. So I actually put that on the TV for inspiration when I was making this design for my corset. It is so, I, I, I can't even describe it. It just brings back so many memories for me. So as I watched the short, I was kind of doodling on my iPad different ideas and that's how I got the design I did. It's not like a direct inspiration, but it kind of inspired me to watch it. So that's how I got this cute little design. It reminds me of spring and there's little Easter eggs and bunnies hidden in the leaves. So that is the design I'm going to be printing out with my Cricut and we're going to do a lot of layering because I want there to be a bunch of different colors. So I think to make things easier for myself, we should cut out the fabric patterns that we're going to use for the corset so that we can kind of size how big we need the Cricut file to be. And then we can head over to my Cricut and get to work. First though, I kind of need to um, clean this explosion of a mess in here because I cannot work if this is the state of the room. through my stash and I do have this um it's like just polyester uh what's it called I can't think of what it's called right now taffeta it's like a little stretchy and it has some shine to it but it's kind of like an a robin's egg light blue it's very pretty so I'm going to cut out this pattern and then we'll see what to do okay here is the corset piece kind of sewn together. It's about like 24 inches. It might be a little big on me actually, but I'm going to use this as the guide for the Cricut cutting. And I think I'm going to try to make my design span about 24 inches, maybe a little less because this is going to shrink a bit, but let's go get started on the Cricut part of this project. Hubert and I have been chilling out and figuring out how we want our thing to go. Hi baby, I love you. And I think I have it all done. There is so many layers. I've never done a Cricut project with this many layers before. I'm confident it's gonna work though. And I also have the cutest iron-on vinyls to use. Here is the design, don't mind the glare. I'm repeating it. I think this is four different times. That's the design itself. And then I can zoom in. There's cute little bunny rabbits in here. And then we have mushrooms. I was gonna do Easter eggs, but I think it might be a little bit too much. But it just, it's so cute. So I am going to get everything set up. I'm using my Cricut Maker today instead of my Cricut Joy Extra, just because it's like a bigger project and I wanted extra space. So I'm not using Smart Vinyl. I am using a matte and regular iron-on vinyl, but these are the ones that I am working with. I also have some white in there and you can go get it. So these are the new ones. I have just this iron-on gold. It's a nice gold. I have an iron-on holographic, an iron-on foil that is pink, and I have this pack of three pastels, and it has purple, light blue, and pink. I don't think I'm gonna use the light blue since the corset is the blue, but I'm going to use the purple and the pink, and then the bunny rabbits will be white, and then I have this green for the leaves. 
this is a lot like you can see all of these layers over here so <laughs> we'll see how <laughs> this works for me um let me open this up so I am doing it on the mat. Remember to mirror everything too. So it looks like it's having me cut out the flowers first. And this is the fill of the flowers, not the outline of the flowers. And for that, I think I'm going to use maybe this, maybe the holographic with the outline being that pink one right there. I think that would be cute. I am so excited. I'm going to Disneyland in two weeks from today. My sister and I are gonna go. I went last month by myself for three days. So now I'm excited to go with my sister. I try to go every other month or so since I have my annual pass. So that is getting me through the next couple weeks of work, you know, because I have that look to look forward to. Like this past week, my sister and I went to Vegas for just a day to see our favorite hockey team. And it's just fun for me to have things like that to look forward to. This is so beautiful. I will have, I'll try to have the materials I use linked in the description. I'll try to find the exact ones, but first we're using this holographic one for the fill of the pink flowers. And I'm going to get this cut out and put on the mat. I have this cut out and trying to remember, I need the instructions. Since it's iron on, I think, the instructions are online. I think we're gonna put it face down and it will cut. So let me line this up. Oh my gosh, also, my mom and I obviously we watched The Bachelor. This season has been good, but we watch it the next day on Hulu. So yesterday it aired and it's going from six to four and I am avoiding spoilers at all costs. Basically, I have not been on social media or if I see anything related to The Bachelor, I scroll so fast. Okay, that got on really easily. You put it on the mat like this. I don't know if I've shown iron on before or I don't know if I've shown it with the mat. But anyway, you put the mat on Put it on the mat like this for however big you're cutting it. And then I'm going to click continue on my laptop, connecting it to Bluetooth. It should be connected. How many mats am I doing? Nine, nine different cuts, you guys. That's crazy. I'm looking for holographic iron on. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Then I'm gonna click this button to load it. Now this is my favorite feature that the maker does, fast mode. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But the Cricut Maker has fast mode. It just cuts fast, I guess. I don't know why you wouldn't use it. I always use fast mode because I'm impatient, but it's loading right now. I probably am not gonna show you every mat because we're doing nine of them, um, but I will check in maybe after I have a few of these done. This one's cutting right now. That also means we're gonna have a lot of weeding to do, but that's fine, it's fun. The, which one is this? The fifth mat is going in. It's the one that has just all the little polka dots. And so then I'll just have six, seven, eight, nine left. I might skip the sixth one though. I had originally planned to fill in the leaves with a lighter green, but I don't have a lighter green. I only have the one. So I think I might skip six and just go seven, eight, nine. Totally thought that that green vinyl I had was iron on, but I don't think it is. I think it's regular. So I'm gonna go get some different green stuff because I don't have what I thought I had. I also need to go to Lowe's, AKA I call it the scary man store to buy some zip ties for the boning of this corset. So I did put my overalls on. I feel more confident going into Lowe's with my overalls on. <laughs> it's like a little, it's like a bit of mine. I just think it's so funny. So let's go run those errands. I also have an order to pick up at Aerie at the mall. I might go do that right now as well. I don't know. I just got the this green shade. It's called apple green. I do want to tell you how to make your own thing while this is cutting. It's almost done. So Cricut, as you know, has thousands of images online. The bunny rabbit I cut out, I did find through the library they offer. But I did want to make my own design for this. So what I do is I have Procreate on my iPad. I'm sure you can use any drawing app. And I drew this cute little design. You can honestly, just whatever design you draw, it will cut it for you. I just did this line work. I wanted it to have a lot of layers because I wanted the different colors. So it gets a little more complicated because you need to do layers. Okay, if you have an, a drawing you've done that you want it to cut out, what you want to do is export it as a PNG file. 
if you want to do multiple layers and have like the flowers be one color leaves be a different color then you need to have your drawing be in multiple layers. So I had to kind of split it into these different designs. This is it right here. Each different element is a layer. And then what you do is you're going to export each layer as a PNG file, if that makes sense. So I had several layers I exported, but it's really cool to be able to customize what you want. And this is the final layer. This is the purple flowers. So everything is cut out now and now we need to weed it and iron it and do all that fun stuff. It's getting pretty late, like 8 p.m. In the past hour I have been layering and putting these on. If you have an iron you can use that. I do use my Cricut heat press. And let me tell you, it's like really complicated trying to figure out which layer I need to put in which spot. Oh, that's where that went, I lost that. I'm laying the base layer right now. I'm almost done putting the like flower filling parts. And then I will start putting the flower outlines and then I need to do like the polka dots and the mushrooms and whatnot. But it's looking really cute. I will finish this up and I will show you what it's looking like. I love the holographic and the foil. See, I messed it up a little bit. Just ignore that. You know what? I tried my best. It's not going to be perfect and I'm liking it. They're almost all on. I had a few mess ups with the layering that was on me. And I don't think I'm going to use these dots. I just can't really figure out where they're supposed to be placed. And I don't want to mess it up because I've been messing it up, which is on me. Yeah, this last one is warming up. It's kind of cute. I'm supposed to go down, but the pattern didn't go down. So I might cut it off so it's more straight across. And then this just needs to be bound. I need to add straps, add some grommets, and it'll be done. It's getting really close to being finished. I'm adding this last piece of boning in. I did also add the straps. Ignore this. I ran out of this duck cloth stuff. So I had to improvise and use something else. Uh, the straps have been added. And now all I need to do is bind the edges. And then we will add in the grommets. Isn't that so cute? I'm really like happy to see my own design on here and think it's so much fun. I need to cut out some bias tape with this blue fabric though. And then bind it. But yeah, we're almost done. I'm watching Love is Blind right now. We actually, I don't, I didn't have a Netflix subscription because my dad canceled it. But I was seeing so many TikToks about this stupid show. So I got freaking Netflix yesterday just, <laughs> just to watch Love is Blind. But um, I'm watching it while I start to do the grommets on the corset because I finished binding it. It's not like the best job I've ever done, but it's just fine. So I have my grommets. And I have my little grommet setter and I'm gonna watch My Love is Blind and I'm gonna put these grommets in and hopefully he works the way. It's just me and him. I'm like starving, but I have no food here. And yeah, I'm really hungry. Also, I made this with Cricut too. Like you can make a lot with Cricut. I made this with Cricut. So let me do the grommets. turned out so beautiful and I love that it. it's my own design minus the bunnies which I did get on the image library they have. I do think it turned out beautiful. I made it a little too small for me. I thought I was gonna make it big enough but things always end up a little too small and this dress I thought went with it really nicely. Ignore the fact that it's a little sheer. I don't know why it is. I thought it was more opaque when I made it. Apparently it's not. Anyway, yeah, I'm wearing my leggings under it, but I think it turned out 
so pretty. The design is beautiful and it's so much fun to wear and it's the perfect thing for Easter. So thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this project. I'm obsessed with it. I will link the materials I use in the description box below. Definitely try out Cricut for yourself if you are crafty or even want to get into being crafty because anything you want to make, they will help you make it. So thank you so much for watching this week's video. Happy Easter and I will see you next week. Bye!